Autosomal DNA is the DNA that each of us inherits from our parents on 22 pairs of chromosomes. So all humans, we get 23 pairs of chromosomes, one set from mom, one set from dad. And one of those pairs are the sex chromosomes. So X and X for females and X and Y for biological males. Those other 22 pairs is the autosomal DNA. And that is, we get 50% from mom, 50% from dad. And that DNA is a mixture of the DNA of many of our ancestors. So we get about 25% from each grandparent, about 12% from each great grandparent, and about half again every generation you go back in time. Um, because of that, we get less and less DNA from our ancestors the further away we get from them. And so autosomal DNA is really, really helpful for cases or research questions where you are trying to figure out a biological parent within, you know, either for yourself or for an adoptee or for a close family member um, or maybe for a close ancestor. So maybe you're looking for your biological grandfather or your biological great grandmother or your great grandmother's parents. Once we get a little further back, it gets harder and harder to use autosomal DNA because we're going to share, a, you know, it's, it's entirely possible that you won't share DNA with distant relatives from some of those more distant ancestors. We're going to share at least some DNA with all of our second cousins, but beyond that, it's anybody's guess. Um, and so, you know, great grandparent level, it's awesome. If you're looking for your fifth great grandparent, autosomal DNA might not be as helpful. It can maybe still give us some clues if we're lucky, but it's going to be much, much more challenging. And in those cases, we might need the DNA test results of multiple descendants of that ancestor because different people get different portions of their ancestors' DNA. So autosomal DNA, really, really great for research questions within about six to eight generations. Not so helpful for anything before, I'd say about 1820 uh, to 1800. Mm -hmm.